The good folks at Roland have created a quick tutorial that will walk you through the process of creating silver graphics with Adobe Illustrator. It'll explain how to access and use the different metallic color swatches and more. I'll play that for you now. In Adobe Illustrator, we'll begin by opening three different swatch color libraries that support metallic silver. The first one we'll select is going to be Roland VersaWorks. The second swatch library we'll select is called Roland Metallic Color, featuring 12 metallic spot colors. And the last one we'll open is called the Roland Metallic Color System Library, which features an additional 500 metallic spot colors to choose from. Let's take a closer look at these colors in the individual palettes. In Roland VersaWorks, the first color we'll notice is actually the Cut Contour Swatch which enables us to create cut contour lines on graphics. The second color we can select is actually RDG White. And the last color is RDG Metallic Silver, which prints with metallic silver ink only. We'll begin with one of the standard shape tools in Adobe Illustrator, in this case, the star tool, to create an object that will apply metallic silver. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key to constrain the shape of the object as I draw it. And this will be my basic element that I'll be working with to apply the metallic silver spot color. Now I'm going to select this object. And right now it doesn't have metallic silver just yet. It just has a standard gray fill in CMYK. But now that I've got the object selected, I'm going to be ready to apply the color. So while my object is still the active selection, I'm going to select in the Roland VersaWorks palette, RDG Metallic Silver, which fills it with 100% of that color. In addition to RDG Metallic Silver, the Roland Metallic Color Library includes 12 primary metallic colors, starting with gold, MT Silver, which is different than RDG Metallic Silver, bronze, Titan Black, olive, green, cobalt, blue, navy, purple, violet, and maroon. These colors are made up of CMYK and metallic silver. We're going to apply the spot color RVW MT Silver which is a darker silver than the original RDG underscore metallic silver. We're going to select the object on screen again. And this time we're going to select a different color. We're going to select from the color palette RVW MT Gold. And of course, once we click on that swatch, the star color changes instantly to the RVW MT Gold. Let's take a look at the Roland Metallic Color System Library located at the bottom of our screen now in Adobe Illustrator. The Roland Metallic Color System Library includes the 12 primary metallic colors listed in the palette above for convenience. But this palette really begins with RVW MT01A. This palette consists of an additional 500 metallic colors to give you a wide range of what we call standard and light metallic colors. And you can see that there's a range of blue, green, gold metallic colors in the palette, and it ends at RVW MT25K. We can change the view of the palette by selecting, for example, the medium thumbnail view, which gives you something a little bit easier to work with when you're trying to scroll through a series of metallic colors. Or even the large thumbnail view, you may find it to be more convenient to work with. And certainly, last but not least, the small list or large list view gives you the list of names in numerical order of the metallic colors in your palette. So we have a lot of different ways within Illustrator to view these swatches and see them listed in numerical order to find the right color that you're looking for. Now we're going to select the gold star again, and we're going to apply one of the other colors from the Roland Metallic Color System Library. 
Now the gold tones are listed at the bottom of the list starting around RVW MT24A and in this case the color I'm looking for is RVW24E and you'll see on screen that has a different appearance but certainly when you print these two you may notice a slight difference in the gold tones so it's a great idea to print the chart on whatever media you're going to be using most often. Now what we're going to do is just really select the star one last time and return it back the original color that we started with this tutorial video and bring it back to RDG Metallic Silver. 